update on the PPP warrant. So I didn't think that it was real at first because it's been about three years since I did mine. And uh, man, I'm, I'm gonna take my lick because at the end of the day, I knew what I was doing when I did it. I knew that it was a possibility that, you know, everything could go sideways. I see a lot of comments, people got negative shit to say, they wanna say, oh, you committed fraud, you knew what you was doing whenever you did it. And I get that, I get it, it's all good. But at the end of the day, man, you know, every time somebody going through a negative situation in their life, y'all wanna add negativity to the negative situation as if it's not already negative enough. Most people don't understand, you know, when we was doing our thing, man, shit, it's hard out here. A lot of people don't understand, man. You know, I'm already a convicted felon. You know, I did damn near eight years, seven years and nine months to be exact. And shit hard. And so, I'm gonna just take my lick on the chin, man. Yeah, I can't fucking win for losing. I ain't lying. I got to report identity theft for a motherfucking PPP loan. I've never had a PPP loan. I was wishing I would have got the PPP loan. And then once I seen what everybody was going through, I was glad I wasn't no goddamn me fool to go and do it. Somebody done put a PPP loan in my name. I got papers in the mail telling me I got court dates and shit coming up. And I'm, I'm you know, I, I made phone calls. I, I, I you know, I, I, I done rushed out like, you know, this not me. This is fraud. What do I supposed to do? They telling me file reports through the FTC, through the police departments, uh, SBA, SBA uh, uh, declaration of identity theft and they telling me to just file different reports through so many people, y'all. I gotta go through so much. I've never been through identity theft. I've heard about it. And now I see how fucking difficult your life can fucking flip upside down due to identity theft. Be careful out here, y'all. Be careful. PPP loan. Check the sites, check whatever you gotta check. If I got one in my motherfucking name due to fraud, y'all might too. Check y'all shit. This is sad. I can't win for losing. All right, so I just wanna give you guys some clarification about this whole PPP warrant list. Now, there is a list for the PPP loans, but it is not a warrant list. What the list is, is just the names of the people who took out loans and it's just showing what name they use to take out those loans. So if you were a victim of identity theft and your name happens to be on that list, there's not necessarily a warrant out for your arrest. You just have to tell the IRS when they get to you, tell them that you were a victim of identity theft and prove to them that you did not receive any money from the PPP loans. But they are going through that list name by name to see exactly who took out these loans and cross-referencing them with their bank records that they subpoenaed from the bank that you bank with. So if you've done these PPP loans and your stuff doesn't isn't up to par with what they required you to have for the PPP loans, you're screwed. I've been working in banking for 18 years now different variety of banking i've been traditional bank side now i'm in credit union side and i was in banking the essential employee during COVID. i did not get to shut down my business my was open we had to show up 40 hours a week non-stop even when my kids school was shut down i had to come to work with the mask on and everything and you know what we were doing during that time we had to cash those and receive $10,000 PPP loans for people that had zero business of saying they had a business. Well, guess what? Those investigations are completing and now there's going to be a rest done. Um, issued warrants for those people who got a loan. 
that had zero business of saying they have a business. So you know what, guys? I know during COVID, it was hard for a lot of people. And those loans were meant to be to support businesses so they could support their employees. But there were so many people that took advantage. It was not a perfect system set up. So I'm ready to see that list. If you want, if you got the loan, you might want to go check it and see if your name is on that list. But let's go. Karma is a bitch. You know it. So let's see how it goes. Yes, bye. Y'all, so I'm seeing everybody posting about this PPP shit, right? And like, I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, hold up. Is they really liking people? Up? So me personally, I just felt like if you was missing out on that shit, it was done. Like, and at that time, I was just at a low time in my life when the PPP shit was going on. It just caught me at the right time. So, duh, like, yeah. Y'all, why the fuck I just go on the website? that one of the ladies said you can go up on her and it's a warrant list for everybody that did the PPP. Why the fuck is my name really on there? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, I wasn't the one that did that shit. My cousin typed that shit up. Like, would I get in trouble if she was the one that did all the typing and shit? Like, I, I didn't even know what was going on. She just told me I could get some money. Shit, give her 3500 I ain't gonna lie, though. I'm low-key scared as shit. Like, Everybody else that did that shit, can we make like a group chat and just check on each other every day or something? My FYP has been showing me videos of people that took out PPP loans in 2020 and they didn't have a business. And now there is a list of warrants for people that took out fraudulent loans. And these videos are people on here crying, saying that they didn't think that they would come get their money or they didn't think anything would happen to them. And it's just sad. What happened to critical thinking? Why do we have like huge groups of people that think that they can just try to get thousands from banks and the government and nothing's going to happen to them? The government's going to come get their money forever. If you ask me, they did this on purpose, knowing that a bunch of people would take out fraudulent loans and it's a great way to fill up the prisons. Prison is a multi-billion dollar industry. Lies. Did you hear anything that I said in my video? I specifically said there is there is a list. There's a list out there that shows the people that obtained the PPP loan. Now, whether they did it fraudulently or correctly or the correct way, I don't know. But as far as a warrant list, no, there is not one. And your friend was probably on that list, but he just did it fraudulently. Let's just think how crazy that would sound for the feds to put out a wanted list of all the people that is wanted for misusing the PPP loan. Just sit back and ponder on that for just a moment, please. Now, like I mentioned last night, you can go to this pandemic oversight website and it will tell you the stories of the people that have already been picked up for misusing the PPP loan. But there is no wanted list specifically naming people out or calling people out like a lot of people are saying, saying that, you know, these people are wanted for misusing the PPP loan and that they will be picked up or thrown into jail. But feel free to Google it, look on this website and search it and you won't find that list. If you know something that I just don't know, forward it to me, please. PPP loans. Let's talk about them for a minute. Y'all was set up. Y'all were set up. I'm sorry. I know that this is going to be like, oh, bullshit, you know, whatever. Listen to me, okay? When in the history of time has it been easy to get anything for free from the government without them wanting documentation and paperwork? I mean, it's easy to get stuff for free if you, they, you're not from here or they send it elsewhere. But us that live here, when has it ever been easy? They want your firstborn. They want paperwork. They want documents. They asked y'all like three questions. I did not get one, so I don't know. But from what I'm seeing, there were like three questions. Like, do you own a business? What's your name? What's your bank account number? And then they sent you ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. And now, think about who is still in office right now is now coming for you. They're coming for you four years later and they knew they were going to. They knew you didn't qualify for this money previous to today, okay? It's been four years. 
It would take them two seconds to search your social security number and see that you don't own a damn business. So they set you up. They have spent all of our money sending all of our money to other places, helping people that are not from here. And now they broke. Now they broke and they're like, okay, we're, we're going to need to get our money back from the people that we set up. Y'all can say what you want. I'm t- Now, was it right for you to take money that was not, you weren't entitled to? No. However, they set you up. They dangled that apple and tempted you and you took it, but now they want it back. Now they're coming for you. And I want you all to remember who's coming for you. Who's still in charge? Who's still in charge? You can't blame the other man. Who's in charge right now? Who's coming for you? So please remember that before you go and cast your, you know what, in November, who's coming for you? Who set you up? They literally set you up. Disagree with me all you want, but it was way too easy to get the money. It was tempting you and they knew damn good and well that you did not qualify. And now they're coming for everybody and they're arresting everybody who did something that they gave to y'all knowing full well you didn't qualify. Tell me I'm wrong. So even if you were not the one that took out a PPP loan, it is still a good idea for you to check to see if your name is on that list because you might be a victim of identity theft. And for those of y'all that keep saying that the PPP loans was a setup, absolutely incorrect. Because in order for you to get those PPP loans, you had to first go out and make a fake business. You had to find fake employees by stealing people's IDs. You had to pretty much lie to the federal government saying that you had these employees and this fake company that didn't exist prior to that as if the government couldn't go back and check your paper trail just because the government made it easy for you to get these loans doesn't mean it was a setup that money was for legit businesses who had legit employees in order for them to pay them immediately but the crazy part is y'all just took complete advantage of that of those loans and sucked up all the money before the actual businesses can use can get it to pay their employees it was not a setup it wasn't for you so let me know your thoughts in the comment section leave a like hit the subscribe button we'll see y'all next time